Have you checked on your 3D printer during a long print only to find that it's jammed? This is exactly what happened to me recently. Had it jammed during a long print, I'd be pretty mad. Thankfully, it was only on a small print. This was supposed to be an Imperial shuttle from a series of card kits that I'm making. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out. I'll be busy printing the card kits for the next several weeks. Assuming that my printer doesn't keep jamming. But I digress. This is one of the many reasons why you don't want to leave your printer unattended for a long time. I usually check on my printer every 30 minutes or so. Today, I'm going to show you how to unjam this Creality CR10 V3 printer. That's a mouthful. Here are all the tools you'll need. Needle nose, 2mm ball end hex key, and nozzle cleaning needles. Let's take a look at the extruder hob gear and check out what's going on. Yeah, I'd say there's definitely a clog. Unfortunately, in case of a jam, this gear does not stop moving, and that causes a problem. If the filament does get stuck, the gear will keep on spinning and can grind away enough filament that there's nothing left to grab onto. All you're left with is the stripped filament with shavings all over the place. Luckily, it's not too difficult to clean up. Unfortunately, I was unable to pull the filament out, so we're going to have to open up the housing to take a closer look at what's going on. First, you're going to want to loosen up the tension dial. Next, make sure you use a ball end hex key. This tool is going to make it a lot easier to get at the screws. The bottom two screws just need to be loosened. You really only need to remove the top two screws. The screw with the washer holds the extruder gear. This screw can be a little bugger to reach. Without this ball and hex key, you're going to have a real hard time with this. You only need to loosen the lower left screw. Now that the other screws are removed, you should be able to access the stuck filament. Gently pull back the clear cover. Here's why we were unable to pull the filament out. It's jammed under the extruder gear. You'll want to take a set of needle nose pliers and pull back the end of the filament that's stuck under the gear. Now we can pull out the filament. You can see where the gear was grinding away at the filament. Let's trim off that damaged part. Now we'll have to pull out the rest of the filament that's stuck inside the extruder. Here's what I pull out of the nozzle. Definitely not what we want. Now that we got the jam out of the way, it's time to clean up the shavings and put everything back together. Remember to keep track which screw goes where. They are not all the same. Having a ball and hex key makes this screw really easy to get to. The screw is just in a weird position. It makes it hard to reach if you don't have one of these. Make sure all the screws are snug. Once you got everything put together, you're going to want to heat up the printer nozzle. Once the nozzle is warmed up, let's load the filament so we can start feeding it through. For the next step, we're going to need one of these nozzle cleaning needles. Be careful not to burn yourself. Use gloves or needle nose pliers while doing this. That needle is going to get really hot. All we're trying to do here is break up the blockage. So give it a few light pokes and try to push the filament through. Be careful not to stick the needle up too far. You can damage the PTFE tube inside, or you're going to end up taking the whole thing apart. If you're successful, after a couple of tries, the blockage should be broken up enough to pass. Now this is important. Do not force the filament through. If you're still unable to get the filament through, you may need to take the whole thing apart and inspect the nozzle throat. Which so happens, I have a video coming up that'll show you how to do just that. Luckily this time, it was just a minor clog and I was able to get up and running in no time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. 
Happy printing.